So guys, I'll be solving online stock span and basically it's for every price that is passed in for example 100, 80, 60 we look for a price that's higher than the previous prices so if 70 is given and we see that 60 previous price 60 is lower than the current price then we print out 2 because 60 and inclusive of the current price so 70 so um, one way would be since we need to store this this price and the num the consecutive number of days that we want to keep on adding to so for example here we don't like, we keep on carrying this value so we need two um, values so for that I would like to use stack because we want to keep the prices in stack form so stack and we want to push our current price as the uh, zeroth element and the first element would be the um, uh, consecutive days okay so we give it an integer array s that's instance variable because it's outside the method um, and we call it was new stack All right, so we keep on adding, we, we want to add price to our stack. So, and for the previous prices that are stored in our stack, we don't know how many times we're going to iterate through this. So we do a while, not a for loop. So while s dot is not empty, and what do we want to check for? Um, if the price is lower, so if s dot is empty and s dot peak we look at the last value and the zeroth element and if price is greater or equal so if 70 is greater or equal to 60 what do we want to do um, for the for storing consecutive days, I would like to first create a local variable instance equals a result equals one, and we add on to that result. So result plus s dot peak, and get the consecutive days this time. So it's the first element, mm. and we pop it because we would be adding it outside our while loop so s dot pop this is this is uh, it's perfectly fine to remove this because all we care about is the result which is the how many consecutive days we want um, s dot add price oh yeah that's right oh we want to add since we need to pass an integer array what we do is s dot add and we create a new integer array integer array that takes in the same thing price and result and we return result Oh, right. Yep. Let's see if it passes. Yep, and it passes. So I think the fundamental important thing is that 
yeah, we take two parameters, price and consecutive days. And it's okay to pop because we'll be adding that result to the parameter that's passed. So for the new price, 70, it will carry on the required answer. Okay, so that was it.